Hello guys, it's Jewel again speaking from Ocean Spirit in Mauritius and these are the clown anemone fish. These little clown fish have become one of the most popular and the most well known and the most loved fishes in the world. And I thought they were terribly endangered because everybody wants one in an aquarium in their home. But they can be bred in captivity and they are being bred by the thousand. Children love them. The anemone, the anemone is their home and it's tentacles sting. They're covered in a poison and the anemone fish develops not actually an immunity but a resistance to the, to the poison and the anemone sting and they're able to live here safely, secure from predators because no fishes go in there and nobody's going to take the risk of being stung. We've noticed that some of our anemones turn white in the winter and then they go back to being brown again. This is some sort of deficiency of, of um, algae in the anemone itself that stops it being brown. But it doesn't seem to do them any harm and it doesn't seem to be affecting the Mauritian anemone fish. This little chap is the common anemone fish. He's a... Uh, Mauritian ones are black with a slight yellow underbelly. The standard anemone fish that we get on the East African coast has a bright yellow belly and he's much more colorful. The Mauritian ones are mainly black and white with yellow fins like this little one. But look at the size of his anemone. He's absolutely enormous and he's got this tiny little anemone. But look, there's a tiny anemone fish that's living there with him. The parents lay eggs. They prepare a nest at the base of the anemone and the female starts to lay her eggs and then the male fertilizes them. And the male assiduously guards the eggs from predators. You'll see the dominoes are also there. It's altogether possible that they're after the eggs and the little anemone guys are preventing them from eating them. Once the eggs have hatched, the tiny fry go up into the ocean where they are drifted ar drift around with the plankton and they might well be eaten by other fish, but the ones that survive, would you believe, go back as close to their original home as possible. Genetic tests were done with anemone fish to find out just how far these creatures go, and they don't go more than a few meters from home, and they look for a nest. That would be another anemone that they can build a home in. Look at this baby, he's so happy, all alone, when he grows up, he's going to become the mate of the adult. Look at the size of this one. It's the tiniest anemone I've ever seen with two enormous anemone fish in it, completely without any form of algae colouring it. And they seem to be perfectly happy breeding there. The anemones change, uh, sorry, the um, clownfish actually change sex. They start off as male, so all of them are born male. And when it's time to mate, one of them becomes a female. And from that time, she remains a female until she eventually dies. We don't know how long they live, but they do seem to be quite long-lived because we do see them growing. And in Mauritius, they get quite big. Again, another very, very small, very shallow tentacled anemone. Here's one with much longer tentacles and it's closed, much more difficult for the anemone fish to get in there. But they don't seem to be taken by predators. They seem to be perfectly safe as long as they're within the reaching distance of their anemone. You see at the base of the anemone, they're, they're, that's where they lay their eggs. Now these two little Mauritian anemone fish have chosen a short-spined anemone to live in. And sometimes, tucked away underneath, we can find porcelain crabs. At the end of this video, I've got a whole lot of examples of porcelain crabs. And they are truly spectacular. If you can see them, it's really wonderful. We don't often, but you do find them. 